Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here with another shave. How's everybody going? It's a lovely, well, not so lovely. It's overcast, rainy, good for ducks, red weather. And pretty chilly, around 10 degrees here. Right, how's everybody going? Today we're going with uh, Oleo Brushworks Boyd. Uh, Oleo is now called uh, Chicago Grooming and Boyd is actually a discontinued scent and it's a, made with duck fat and cocoa butter are the main ingredients or the top ingredients. So, yeah, I'll just show you the pour. As you can see, I haven't used it yet. It's going to be completely first on up shave. The brush we're going to use, which I've got soaking here, is my big 26 millimeter ball brush from Mika. Ball brushes I could work better when they've had a bit of um, or soap, about 10 minutes or so in warm water is nice. Um, the, the razor we're going to use, which I'll go into details in the overhead camera, is the Home Like Shaving Bakel Brush, aluminium, oh, not brush, razor, aluminium, made of aluminium, which is looks like a, a rock wall but has some differences which I'll go into in the uh, overhead camera. Alright, we'll now switch to the overhead camera and get into it. Right, we've got the, uh, the razor here, the home like shaving razor. As you can see the bottom plate is numbered two and four upside down so the, the plate number you have is the number is up the right way which is two so I'll just take it apart got a little washer there probably don't need it as you can see it's got um, rectangular um, pins to hold the blade securely and uh, has accurate alignment. The other thing is there is no or virtually no blade overhang. So we just put that back on. And the blade we've got in there is also a Russian blade, so we're going for number two, plate number two. With uh, my la uh, last lattice, <laughs> last lattice, I'll say that quickly. Super stainless. From my trial pack, they're double wrapped with just a touch of glue on them. All right, here we are. We've got the bowl with the soap. I've got a good. Good size half teaspoon in there, it's a, quite a soft soap, very typical modern day soft soap. Uh, I'll just squeeze out the ball brush, give it a shake. The soap is dry and a lovely floral rose forward I could call it. But not a, um, uh, sometimes I get sort of a, a green scent from rose, more earthy, that's the word, earthy scent. This one is, um, yeah, it's more a softer rose, lovely though, probably as a result of some other white floral scents in it. There is supposed to be some sandalwood in it but I don't um, don't detect any. Scents 
sense drink is about, I'd call it 6 out of 10. Same off the puck. This is, the soap has got duck fat and coconut butter in it. I don't know the other ingredients, so I'll bring the list up later. Looking very nice there. Quite a dense lather there, building. The only other duck fat um, soap I have, I think, is um, Mike's. Mike's Naturals, I think, has duck fat in it. And that's a good soap as well. This brush is a lovely old, well broken in ball brush. Beautiful. Yeah, that's quite a dense leather building up there. That's six shots I've put in so far. Keep adding water slowly. Very nice shine on it. A couple more. Get our lovely rose scent coming off. Rose floral. Pretty that this one's discontinued. There's not a lot of rose scents around, I think. Although there's those, there's quite a few uh, English creams that have rose scent. Like the Tobbs. Trumpers. Salter, seal salter, salter, is it? I think I have rose. Getting very nice lather there. Just looking at the density. Yeah, medium to high density lather. Very nice. Don't worry about those old big bubbles. They'll disappear. Let's get um, I think that's um that's about how I like it. Beautiful. All right, we're going with that. Okay, finished building that leather. We've got a lovely voluminous leather going there. Medium to high density leather. Just 
time of putting that on. I've already put the pre-shave on. I turn that light off when I'm doing the overhead shot. Reduces the shadows a bit. In the summer I don't need it. This is the middle of the day, would you believe? <laughs> oh. Yeah, lovely scent coming off. Six, maybe seven out of ten. I think I'll call it a seven out of ten. Quite strong. And it's constantly wafting up. Okay, I'll just leave the um, Ingredient list here. With this, what's the base? It's called uh, Conard. The Conard base. It's quite economical. That's very smooth. Now plate number two is equivalent to um, about plate four on the Rockwell, but it's not exactly the same because they're slightly different design. The, uh, the blade has less what do you call it, reveal. Should mean there's less blade chatter. It's a light razor, but not ultra light. It's um, 48 grams, probably 49 with the blade. Number two does feel about a rock wall plate four for me. And that soap is lovely and slick as you expect. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, price wise this soap is uh, in my green zone or good zone um, because it's about eight it comes currently on retail shops at uh, eighteen dollars per four ounces which is um, four and a half dollars US per ounce which lines up to my good zone in the my bang for buck table. I'll just leave my bang for buck table here for reference. My aim is to buy soaps in the green zone. I will buy some in the 
the yellow fair zone, but I don't have many in that area. Most of mine are green, bang for bucks, and I don't buy any in the, the red zone. That's personal preference. Because I have my own budget that I'm, I have. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, across the grain. The handle's nice. Don't feel like I'm going to lose any grip. It's just the right size for me. I think it's about 90 millimeters. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it's a lovely, pretty good strength here. Six to seven strength. Rose, pop pori, whatever you want to call it. Lovely second pass. Got a couple of dots there, but they're not bleeding. They're just some red marks at the moment. There is a bit of a, a pimple there. I might knock that off. Next pass. Yes, yeah, lovely sleepiness, protection. Nice soap. Very nice. Let's see. It's yeah, still stable, as you can see. You may not be able to see, but it is stable. Lovely, lovely soft tips with the split hairs. You can see you get good splay. basically the same as the brush I started with eight years ago. I started with a Amiga Professional in my traditional witch shaving adventures. And that's what I used for years. I used probably for five years. Uh, five? Yeah, five years I used that brush. That one and this one, because the first one broke uh, after three years, my professional one, and then I bought this one. So this is, yeah, five years old. Right against the grain. I 
I do feel a little bit of blade. Getting a lovely smooth shave. I'm really enjoying this rose type floral scent. So this is, the lattice is a good blade. Wouldn't be comparable to my top blades though. Not for me anyway. This feels lacking of a bit of refinement. Like I get from um, the wizard, say. There's plenty of residual air, especially with wet fingers. Oh yeah, good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely. Hmm. Lovely feel on the skin as well. Let's do some touch-ups on the jawline. Still, still good. That was probably quite a big sample I used, probably three and a half, four grams or so. I tend to use a lot on my first try. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing touch-ups. Oh, 
YouTube. Stragglers. Ah, oh, very nice. Very nice. Just enjoying this day. Very nice. I don't think I've got any whippers. Disappear, it looks like, which is good. All right, um, we'll get into the post shave. Bit of witch hazel to start with, with the menthol crystals in it. Follow that up with uh, the Natio 
For men, after shave palm. That should be enough. As you can see, just a little bit. This has a lovely citrus, lemon citrus scent, lemon and lime. Again, put it on the head. Beautiful. Right, while that's soaking in, let's go with the products. We started with the neck. Close shave, uh, brushless cream as my pre shave. We used Boyd from Oleo Soapworks, now called Chicago Grooming. Lovely rose scent. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 scent strength in the leather. Uh, what else we use? We use my lovely old ball brush, 26 mil Amiga ball. It says shaving factory on it, but uh, it's just a uh, what do you all call OEM rebranding. Um, the razor we used was the. Home Light Shaving Bakel on plate two with my lettuce blade, super stainless, which is okay, but not uh, not a top tier one for me. The bowl we used was my Whispers from the Woods bowl. Spray bottle, generic spray bottle, and I think that's it. Okay, final ingredient Imperial leather, classic. I know it doesn't match the soap, but I don't have anything that matches the soap. Okay. Oh, that's lovely though. Oh. You gotta enjoy a bit of beer leather. So it's a scent based on the soap. <laughs> All right, uh, that's my shave for the day, and we'll catch you on my next one. Thank you all for watching.